Hello my friends from the internet, Survive with Knife here, and I just wanted to show you guys a little project I've been working on recently, and that is um, I wanted to paint my little uh, Rossi 22410 uh, survival rifle, which I've done a review on, so you can go back to my videos and see that, but I wanted to... Um, do a camo paint job on this uh, for several reasons. Uh, number one, it just looks cool. And number two, this uh, little survival rifle had a propensity to to rust. When I would take it out the barrel, a lot of times it'd have a, just, you know, one night when I was out there with it, it would, I'd get up in the morning and there would be a nice coating of rust over the entire barrel. So I just wanted to, to take care of that problem. And I have used Duracoat before but this time I decided to use uh, uh, Rust-Oleum and, uh, and Krylon. I decided to use the Krylon on the plastic parts and the uh, Rust-Oleum on the metal parts, which is what I've heard are uh, the best ones to use for, for plastic and metal. Um, I ended up actually using, I did use the primer um, on the, the Krylon primer on the plastic. Um, but I think if I would do it again, I would probably just go with the Rust-Oleum for everything. Uh, but actually, so far, I am very happy with the project. Um, the coating has held up very well. It actually, honestly, um, has done just as well as the Duracoat that I've used. So. Um, I don't know that I'll go back to Duracoat. Um, the expense of, of doing of using Duracoat um, than just uh, using Rust-Oleum. I think the main thing that we you have to do is you just have to uh, prepare and do it properly. I've seen other people do camouflage uh, paint jobs with uh, paint like Rust-Oleum, and they just you know spend about an hour paint everything up and they're just done, and then they wonder why their paint chips off and. Uh, and peels off in places. So the process that I went through, I first uh, 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 really sanded down all the surfaces very well with sandpaper and Scotch-Brite. And uh, then after that I cleaned everything really good with, uh, uh, with a true strip uh, cleaner degreaser. And uh, once everything was cleaned off very nicely, I primed the surfaces uh, using a primer uh, allowed uh, a couple hours for it to dry uh, well and then I placed a uh, base coat of, um, of a brown uh, camouflage from Rust-Oleum I didn't bring the other paint cans but then I uh, then I went ahead and used about three other colors camouflage colors a green a dark green and a brown to um, uh, provide the the striping and and that stuff on there. So and I just made myself some templates from some junk mail uh, to spray through to create the uh, the camouflage patterns, and that uh, that worked really well. And uh, so far, I'm very happy with this. I may actually end up um, camouflaging my Ruger 1022, and I have a, a Marlin Bolt Action 22 also that I may I may end up doing too, uh, depending on how well this continues to hold up but uh, so far I've been you know very pleasantly surprised and and very happy with uh, with the results so there you guys go there's my little survival 22 and 410 if you want to know more about this gun you can go ahead and watch my review on that video and I've also have several of my outdoor adventures where I where I use this uh, little survival rifle so so okay well there you guys go um you guys have a good day and please subscribe and like thank you